presentation is poster number 14, a case report on acute pulmonary edema following anaphylaxis shock by Munasinga BM, Subramaniam N, Ranavira K, Ranatunga B, Jnana Prakash A. The paper will be presented by Munasinga BM. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Munasinga uh, from the uh, District General Hospital, Mena. Uh, this is uh, Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank the SLMA for this opportunity, especially for the doctors as, like us from the peripheries to present cases like this. So this uh, this case was a middle-aged lady we received in ICU uh, of the suggestion hospital, Mena, who was treated for cellulitis in the ward, surgical ward, then developed uh, acute onset uh, severe cardiorespiratory collapse following an accident uh, in, uh, this in administration of uh, penicillin. So the diagnosis was initially the clinical diagnosis anaphylactic shock and they have administered IA Madeline 0 0.5 milligrams uh, up to 3 milligrams and uh, patient was stabilized and sa transferred for the f further care. So after in the ICU patient was similarly stable uh, but around 3 or 4 hours later patient developed acute onset uh, pulmonary edema which was uh, 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 initially thought uh, probably due to a cardiac event but ECG and the 2D echo was normal. Uh, then uh, it was attributed at the end uh, either due to the adrenaline toxicity or because of the anaphylactic shock itself can leading to pulmonary edema. Uh, so at the uh, patient fortunately was managed with CPAP and frusamide and uh, had a full complete recovery. Uh, uh, so the take home message would be this adrenaline toxicity uh, anaphylactic shock itself can lead to pulmonary edema. There are, there are reported cases. Uh, but um, uh, then uh, the treatment itself can lead to the complications like uh, pulmonary edema. So we should be uh, careful, especially the Finnish physicians should be careful uh, because the disease itself and the treatment itself can lead to adverse effects. Thank you. The paper is open for the questions and discussion. So, okay, at what point did you detect pulmonary edema uh, after the treatment was initiated? Or uh, so patient was stabilized initially, sir. Then transferred to e ICU for the actually for the observation. They were worried about uh, either septic shock or. Uh, this biphasic reaction of anaphylactic shock that is why then around three or four hours later only she developed otherwise before that she patient was stable sir thank you with thank that we come to the end of the presentation thank you sir let's thank the presenter for the presentation